City buses play an important role in public transport systems today, and they can play an even more important role tomorrow. To that end, they have to be attractive as possible. This is not an easy task. In fact, they face tough competition with other means of transport, among them new players such as car sharing services. And in this competition, city buses are not always seen as the most attractive choice. They get stuck in traffic, and if you have to wait for a bus that is delayed, you might think twice about taking it again. And recent study shows that public transport could be used for almost half of the routes traveled in the cities, but is used for only about 15%. So there's much room for improvement. And we will be the ones to make those improvements. We want to help our customers by making public transport more attractive to their customers. This is our aspiration as leader of the bus industry. Let's take a look at who typically takes the bus in a city. It's often people who are too young to drive themselves, that can't afford a car, or those who don't like the hassle in the city traffic. But what about all the others? If more people would take the bus, city traffic would get a lot more efficient. That's why we strive for nothing less than a new attitude. We don't want people to think, I have to take the bus. We like them to say, I want to take the bus. How do we do that? We basically reinvent two things. The design, especially the interior, and the ride experience. To come up with a great interior designed for a bus, we took inspiration from packed big places that people really enjoy. Parks, for example. Next, we created a room with that same feeling. From the open sense of space to tree-like structures for the crab holes. To lights that look like leaves above your head. We also thought of different seating areas for different travel situations. One area for people who want to get on and off the bus quickly. Another area for people who need information, for example, on the route, on possible interchanges. And a third comfortable area for those who stay on the bus a little longer. You can sum it up like this. We want people to really feel at home in our bus. We also wanted to create a great ride experience. And we did so by letting the bus operate semi-autonomously. It ensures the bus drivers in a very smooth way. Also, you can easily enter and leave the bus because of our city pilot navigates into bus stops with computer-like precision, very close to the curb. And when on the bus, our infotainment system and Wi-Fi access give you many possibilities to spend your time well, be it working, shopping, or relaxing. I'm convinced that this combination of new design and a great ride experience will make buses a lot more attractive. Passengers will love it. Long-distance coaches have undergone a positive change of image. We are determined to achieve the same for the city bus. Ladies and gentlemen, we have many ideas to suit the needs of our customers. We will keep offering the best buses. They are the basis of our business. But we will also develop ideas and systems to use these buses in an optimum way. In order to do so, we have established a new department, Daimler Buses Mobility Solutions. This team forms a creative core that will develop ideas around connectivity, autonomous driving, electric driving, and whatever other developments the future will bring. And we are not starting from zero. One great example is our bus depot management. The basic idea behind it, our service outlets perform services in the workshops of our customers. The operators profit from the high expertise of our technicians. And our service contracts help them to calculate the overall costs 
while keeping the transaction cost at a minimum. Another example for an initiative already existing in our portfolio are BRTs. Now have a look at this short video. BRT in Amsterdam is about uh, speeding up bus lanes. That means we have fewer stops and that we can uh, transport uh, our customers faster and more efficient. Planning theories in the Netherlands in the 80s and 90s of the last century were about building uh, big suburban areas, but it also causes more traffic. And the municipality is trying to improve the bus network so that people can travel from and to their work and from and to school on a fast and efficient way. This BRT has uh, about 25 kilometers of separate uh, lanes, so the buses don't have any trouble uh, crossing other traffic. And it also drives in a high frequency, so that means that uh, customers don't have to check their, their watch or the timetable to see when they can go by bus, because every five minutes there is a bus. Extra advantage is that every customer that goes by bus doesn't go by car. That means there's less traffic jam, and less parking movements, so again, less pollution. This line we're driving on now has been a great success. It runs from Haarlem via the airport towards the southeast of Amsterdam. Uh, we now transport about 35,000 people every day on this line, which is about double than we expected it to be. And if we can convince people to get out of their car and into the bus to go to work or to school, then BRT could be a role model for the future of public transportation. Bus Rapid Transit is another great example how we promote mobility solutions. We help cities to develop these systems. We support operators in finding the best routes, including ticketing infrastructure and stopping points. Daimler Buses has decades of experience in this field all over the world. The 2014 World Cup in Brazil is one example. We also help to implement BRT systems in cities with critical traffic densities like Istanbul, Mexico City and Bogota. And as you have heard from Mrs. Post, you can learn a lot from Amsterdam's great BRT system today. Ladies and gentlemen, today the industry leader is inventing the bus of the future. Even more, we are inventing the public transport of the future. It will be autonomous, connected, more efficient and safer than ever before. We see enormous potential ahead and we will seize it.